In this video, we are going to discuss region of convergence in jet transforms. We already discussed region of converge, convergence related to Laplace transforms. In this class, we are going to discuss region of convergence or ROC related to jet transforms. So, we already have some idea about this region of convergence in uh, Laplace. So, it is containing some strip lines whereas in jet transforms the ROC containing some circle. So, here the ROC in jet transforms is indicated as circle and in the, it includes a unit circuit. That means, if you are drawing any ROC then it will includes a unit circle. Unit circle means you need to consider the radius as one on both sides and you need to draw a circle. It includes unit circle. If x of n is a right sided sequence, for example, uh, how you can get this ROC means by using transform only. For example, if you are given with a signal, if you are asked to find out the ROC, then how you will find the ROC means by taking Z transform and after defining the poles, you are going to deal with this ROC. So, here for example, if x of n is a right, right sided sequence like u of n, a power n into u of n, 1 by 2 whole power n into u of n. So, all u of n related sequences are right sided. Similarly, u of minus n minus 1 related sequences are left sided. So, here if x of n is a right sided sequence, then if mod z is equal to r in the ROC, if the pole is equivalent to r, that means uh, for example, if you are having any signal x of n, for this x of n, the z transform is z by z minus r for example like this. So, how you will define the pole means by equating denominator to 0. So, then mod z is equivalent to r you can say mod z is equivalent to r. If this is included in ROC then all finite values of z for which mod z greater than r will also be in ROC. The ROC of that right sided signal with this transform will be mod z greater than r. For example, uh, how you will draw that ROC means first you need to consider z plane, z plane means so you are having this as z plane. So, in this you need to consider a unit circle with radius 1 and after that you need to mention your pole. If you are uh, signal is a right sided signal then so you need to consider r either right sided or left sided you need to mention the pole first of all. So, that into mass represent pole. So, I indicated my r is here by taking that r as radius I am going to draw another circle like this. Now, how we will define ROC means according to the time domain signal. If x of n is a right sided sequence and if mod z is equivalent to r is the pole then the ROC will be mod z greater than r. Mod z greater than r means so the ROC will be like this. The ROC is the z plane greater than r. So, greater than r area will be included in ROC of that z transform. Coming to next point, if x of n is a left sided sequence, if x of n is a left sided sequence means negative sided sequence like u of minus n minus 1 or uh, u of uh, minus n minus 2 like that. So, if that is a left sided sequence, then if mod z is equivalent to r in the ROC, then all finite values for which mod z less than r will be in the ROC. So, ROC is nothing but mod z less than r. For example, we are having another signal like this uh, a power n or minus, uh, minus u of minus n minus 1. This is the signal we are having. So, for this signal what is the z transform means z by z minus 1 this is the z transform. So, similarly for example, if you are having a power n, a power n u of minus n minus 1. So, then the z transform is z by z minus a. So, here mod z is equivalent to a. 
So, how we can consider greater than or less than means as x of n is a left sided sequence by observing the time domain of this transform you came to know that this is a left sided sequence u of minus n minus 1 is a left sided unit step by multiplying with left sided unit step total signal will be getting into left sided. So, as the time domain of this transform is left sided signal the ROC we need to consider like mod z less than a. So, that means so for example if you want to draw the ROC for this for any ROC we need to consider the unit circle with radius 1 and here the pole is equivalent to a. So, here I am noting that pole and I am rounding that pole I am drawing a circle by taking the radius a. So, after taking that a circle you need to see your ROC. So, here according to the time domain of this signal the signal is left sided. So, here the ROC is mod z less than a whatever the value of that pole is there. So, less than that value you need to consider the region of convergence of that signal. So, less than a means it is going into it is going into origin. So, it includes unit circle. So, it will touches unit circle whatever the area less than that a in that circle total that area is going to cover in the ROC. So, next point is if x of n is two, two sided signal sometimes we are getting like this a power n u of n plus a power n u of minus n minus 1. So, in that type of cases we can say the time domain signal is a two sided signal. For example, if you are having like this a power n u of n minus a power n u of minus n minus 1. If you are having this signal then this is called as a x of n is a two sided signal and if mod z r circle is in ROC then the ROC will contain a ring in z plane that include mod z is equal to r. For example, in place of a, I am going to consider 2 power n u of n and here I am going to consider 3 power n u of minus n minus 1. So, the transform for this is z by z minus 2 for Left, uh, right sided signal this is a right sided signal we know the formula for a power n u of n as z by z minus e similarly for 2 power n u of n so my z transform is z by z minus 2 by this transform I am having idea how to calculate pole I am equating my denominator to 0 and I am getting my pole as mod z is 2 that is my pole value but greater than or less than that can be decided by the signal itself. So, the transform came from this right sided signal. So, the ROC related to that is greater than 2. Mod z greater than 2 will be the ROC of this part. Coming to this part, so we are having another signal like minus 3 power n u of minus n minus 1. We are, we are also having equation for minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 that is also equivalent to z by z minus e that means z by z minus 3 will be your ROC your transform not ROC. So, by this the pole value can be obtained by calculating denominator equivalent to 0. So, you are going to get mod z is equivalent to 3 we need to consider less than or greater than in ROC that can be decided by the time domain signal here this transform came from this left sided sequence. So, that is why you need to consider less than. So, now see when you are drawing your ROC. So, I am drawing my ROC. So, I need to consider unit circle and after considering unit circle. So, I need to mention my poles. My poles are 2 and 3. So, one pole is 2 and another pole is 3. So, I am going to draw that circles also 2 circle and 3 circle I am going to draw here and after that here I am having so mod z greater than 2. 
So for this path, for this signal, the ROC is mod Z greater than 2. So that means out of 2 region will be covered in the ROC of 2 power n u of n. So similarly for this path, the ROC is mod Z less than 3. Less than 3 means it is going into origin. Less than 3 means it is going into origin. The common path is 2 to 3. So, 2 to 3 means the ROC is, ROC in this case is 2 less than, mod Z less than, mod Z less than 3 will be ROC of this two sided signal. So, here what they are saying is the circle is in ROC then ROC will contain a ring in Z plane that includes mod Z is equivalent to R. So, here ROC included mod Z equivalent to 2 and mod Z equivalent to 3. So, whatever the region is there, so that combination region we are going to consider like ROC of Z transform of this two sided signal. So, similar to Laplace transform we are going to consider the combination region whenever we are having two sided signal. And here if the Z transform of X of N is a rational or rationalized Z transform then its ROC is bounded by its poles or extended to infinity. So, we are having two cases in, in case of rationalized Z transform. So, after rationalization if you are considering ROC, so that ROC may be bounded by the signals by uh, bounded by the poles or extended to infinity. That is once again related to left sided and right sided signal how in which cases that is going to bound by the poles and which cases it is going to extend to infinity means if the Z transform of X of N is rational and right sided that rational Z transform if that is right sided then ROC is Z plane outside the outermost pole. So, for example, if you are having a rational Z transform, if you consider your pole and uh, your Z transform came from a right sided sequence. So, then you need to consider your Z transform as outside the outermost pole. For example, if you are having so many poles like this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that. So, your Z transform will be outside the outermost pole that if that is a rationalized Z transform. So, similarly, if the Z transform of X of N is rational and as well as left sided, then your ROC is the region in Z plane inside the innermost pole. So, for example, if your Z transform is rational and as well as left sided, then so the ROC will be inside the innermost pole. If this is the innermost pole, this is 2, 3, 4. In previous case, if that is right sided, then you are going to consider outside the outermost pole as your ROC. Mod Z greater than 4, you can consider as ROC. If your signal is left sided signal, then mod Z less than 2. That means inside the innermost pole, you just consider. If you are having 3 poles, 2, 3, 4. So, if your signal is a right sided signal, then you can take the ROC outside the outermost pole. If your signal, which given this transform is a left sided signal, then you can use your region of convergence like mod Z less than 2 that means inside the innermost pole. All these are very important properties of region of convergence of Z transforms. These are coming directly in your gate exams for 1 mark or 2 marks. So, they are asking like this if the Z transform of X of N is rational and left sided then the ROC is outside the outermost pole option you need to select. So, if the Z transform of X of N is rational and left sided then ROC is inside the innermost pole. So, like that they are giving a, as theory questions in gate like technical exams. So, all these properties also very important we are going to work on some problems on these properties from the next class onwards.